Welcome to Electro Online. Now for something new when it comes to factoring. Notice this expression. We have 10 times the quantity x plus 3 to the 5 thirds power minus 6 times the quantity x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power. So when they tell us to factor out a common factor, we're going to factor out a common factor with the number 6 and 10, and we're going to factor out a common factor for the quantity x plus 3 to those exponents. And the rule is that we find the expression that has the smallest exponent, which is this one, 2 thirds is smaller than 5 thirds. So find the term with the smallest exponent, and we'll make that m look a little bit better. There we go. So the smallest exponent is this term right there, and so we're going to factor that one out. So this becomes equal to the common factor with 10 and 6 is going to be 2, so it's 2 times. When I factor out a 2, oh, I forgot the rest of it, 2 times, but I also need to factor out the x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power. x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power, and then what we have left. So when we factor out a 2 out of 10, we get 5, and then we have x plus 3 to some exponent. Now we don't know yet what that exponent is, we'll get that in just a moment. Minus, when we factor out 2 from 6 we get 3, and of course we also factor out x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power, that's gone, so we have nothing else left there. Now, what should this exponent be? Well, when you multiply this back in here, we have 2 times 5 gives you 10, and x plus 3 to the 2 thirds times x plus 3 to some exponent should give you 5 thirds back. Well, what will give you that exponent back? How about, hmm, let's see here, how about 3 thirds? Because when you multiply these together, you add the exponents, 2 thirds plus 3 thirds is 5 thirds, and that will then be the factored form. Now we need to simplify that, so we get the following. This is equal to 2 times x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power times, this will be 5 times x plus 3 to the first power minus 3. And since it's to the first power, we can simplify that even further. We'll go ahead and do that. So this becomes 2 times x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power times 5x plus 15 minus 3. So finally, this can be written as 2 times x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power times 5x plus 12. And that's the final factored form of our original problem. Again, the rule is find the term that has the smallest exponent, which is x plus 3 to the 2 thirds power, factor that out along with any constants you can factor out, in this case 2. Then notice you'll have something left, you have 5 because 2 times 5 is 10, x plus 3 to some exponent minus 3 because 3 times 2 is 6, and this has been factored out. What is that unknown exponent? Well, notice when you multiply back in, and that's the key. When you multiply it together again, this should add up to your original exponent. 2 thirds plus some unknown should add up to 5 thirds. 2 thirds plus 3 thirds is indeed 5 thirds. Of course, 3 thirds is the same as 1. And that is how it's done.